Hello everyone, this is Brave Mc2, and today I have a video. My first video of 2019 is going to be an eBay purchases from 2018 video because my five year anniversary was actually a couple days ago on December 29th, if you didn't know. And my very first video I uploaded was actually showing eBay items that I got because I got eBay items that day. So in reference to that, as a tribute to five years, I decided to make an eBay purchases for 2018 because I got a lot of stuff in 2018. So 2019 is a new year, a uh, new fresh start. I hope um, I'll definitely be more active this year, like the whole way through. That's my goal because, you know, as last year I wasn't was kind of active on Twitter and stuff uh, in January, but then kind of um, wasn't really active uh, that much again until like August and didn't upload as much as I wanted to but nevertheless my sets improved I feel like in 2018 it had its ups and downs but 2019 will be way better because I'm going to try to upload weekly don't know if that's gonna happen but at least for like January and February um, I have remakes planned that I think I can you know do and get done on a weekly basis because I've um, started filming a lot of them so um, most of them will be pre-filmed like won't most of them I upload it right when I finish or like a couple of days after I finish but these ones I'll probably finish like a week before so yeah um, I do have my first remake will be the Flying Kipper coming out um, this Friday I did post a snippet of that uh, a couple weeks ago so yeah then after that probably love me tender will be january 11th the 18th probably will be snow from season five uh and then the 25th will probably be jack frost from season six because i did get a jack frost percy recently so yeah those will be probably january remakes and then february like scar for percy i think will be february 1st and special funnel and just winter remakes up until for january and february then yeah so hope you guys are excited for that so let's get on to the video this is not actually in i'm not gonna I'm going to try to show things in order, but I don't know if I'm actually going to stick to that, to be quite honest. So, I'm so I'm going to start in order. I may not stick in order the whole time. It depends what I feel like. I don't know. This is kind of just me winging it. I didn't script this or anything, but let's just start with Daisy. Daisy was the first item I got this year. She arrived on January 3rd, I think. So... Yeah, this is a 2001 Daisy, I believe. Uh, yes, it is. 2001. Which, by the way, I'm filming... I've been filming on a new camera right now, so... I hope you guys like this quality. It's a lot less blurry than usual, so... That's good. Um, yeah, I just got it for like 20 bucks at the beginning of the year. I mean, that's really it. And then, second item arrived on January 5th is this six-pole old style Natford station that came new in box. Yes, that is right. I cannot believe I found this, because these are, I can, I could never find this, and I found it one day. I found it actually on January 1st of 2018, and then it, uh, then... It arrived on the 5th, so that's the day I got it. It was like, got it for $30. Like, I think $34 to be exact. It was really cheap. Um, I just can't believe that it was that cheap, especially when it's new in box. Because I've seen ones like these sometimes. It doesn't even have all the pools or, like, the benches. And it will be, like, $220. I'm serious. I saw one, like, a couple weeks before that that was, like... $220, which is insane. I would never pay that much for this, but it was for $30. I was like, hey, this is super rare. I mean, it's Zoom Box. Why not? So I got it, and I've been using it because I like having six platforms at Natford, so that's really nice. Uh, and then I think this was the third, like the James Goes Buzz Buzz. 
set as you can see this is really nice to have also came with boko which i did not have before um i think this is 2002 boko hold on yep it is if it will focus it's not focusing i don't know why but trust me it is a 2002 boko so i don't exactly remember what i got Oh, wait. Forgot to show you the Red Nose James. Pretty good condition here. The building, apple trees. Oh, this stuff is all really nice. I've got some more clickety clack track out of it. Alright, so this isn't exactly an order, by um, this, what the James was says by set came in like January, I believe. This also came in January, the pedestrian bridge. Did not have the stairs, sadly, but, I mean, it came with the box. Um, I actually did get this, actually, with the, one of the, because as you see here, I have two double-wide old iron bridges with one of these here. It came with the box, um, the first one I got did. So I got one of those in January but with the pedestrian bridge, and also came with these two, like, mini Ertl sets that have never been opened. They, like, still have sealed tape on them well this one doesn't because i took it off and kind of like looked in there but it's like brand new like it like this thing's still on but like they were new in box i don't know i didn't open it i just kind of opened this but all the stuff is still wrapped up in there i don't really use it just because i haven't really had a need to so i mean it's nice i don't know if they're rare or not but they just came with it and that's really nice i got that and a lot i got the one of the double wide old iron bridges the pedestrian bridge and that and a lot for about 45 dollars i believe so i was like because usually these go for like 70 and you get the pedestrian bridge and what are these things and i was like you know why not uh, i'm gonna use them and i just found that one day so and i really always wanted one of these and now i have two which i never thought i would have which i guess i'll just tell you right now the second one I got for Christmas just last week because I kind of saw a second one for like got it for $27 it was a Christmas gift that my parents got me so that's really nice it was super cheap and I was just like hey you know why not because it can work as the Vickerstown bridge so that's pretty nice that I have two of them all right the next item I believe that I got was, yes, Henry's Tunnel from 1997 is what the brick wall says. There we go. And yeah, so that's really nice. I got that in early March and got it for about, I think like really cheap. It was like $60, which is cheap because around that time I really wanted a Henry's Tunnel. And a lot of them were for like $100, even $200. And, uh, and this was a buy it now. I immediately saw it and asked for it. And, I, and thankfully, I was allowed to get it. So, oh wait, I did forget that I got, this was one item I got in February. Ellsbridge Platform. Got this for like $24. Like all this stuff, by the way, I got for super cheap. Um, yeah, so... It was just like stuff I found because I spent like, because this is all stuff I've always wanted and I spent like forever looking on eBay and I just dig deep and find all the stuff like you won't find it if you just like search it. You have to like go to similar items, just keep going through there and uh, yeah, I like you can find some really good deals. So, and it's like really good condition. The only dense is like that, which isn't that big of a deal but yeah that's really nice to have another thing got march was the yellow cab soda bay cargo ship got this for because usually these go for a lot of money sorry the camera's shaking a lot in this but these usually go for a lot of money um but i got this for like 30 dollars i think and i was just like hey i mean it's, it has some edge wear but still i would use it and I thought it was cheap for, you know, Soder Bay cargo ship because usually I see these go for like $100, $200. And uh, so ended up getting that too. That was really nice. 
Um, okay, I'm going to start going out of order because I really don't remember the exact order. So since, you know, I'm over here, let's just show you the other Soderby cargo ship I got that was new in box, like a little perfect condition. I did open it over the door, but I was able to put it back in. But when I got it, it was new in box. I don't know how much this was because my parents bought it for me for Christmas. So I'm very thankful for that. And I kind of did want a white cab because I was looking on eBay for stuff a while ago and told them about it and they got me this and it is perfect condition. They did a good job with that. So, um, and I really like how it has the box too. It was new box. Um, because I really wanted more boats and there's not many wooden railway boats. So there's really only the tugboat and this. So it was like, you know, since there's two, and I didn't want two like yellow cabs because they look the same. Like, you know, these kind of look different and I'll definitely use them. And it's a nice rare item to have to my collection. And who knows, maybe one day if I, um, could be worth, these two could be worth something. Not that I don't think I would sell these, but say, like, this sounds really morbid, but when I die, if I have kids who don't, you know, use it, maybe if my kids will be, like, grown, and they don't have grandkids or something, maybe they could sell it, make some good money. It'll probably be worth more then, because by then it will be, like, way older than it is now. So it's just really nice to have in my collection, whether, you know, sell it or not, although I probably wouldn't ever sell it. But... Yeah, I'm really thankful. Also, have this um, I got the Ertl Canal boat I wanted because you know I wanted more boats. Um, got that for Christmas as well. They got me. My parents got me that too. So be looking forward to using that in my videos. Then since we're already over here, let's just go to Ellsberg. Just as well as a new box, obviously, because the box is like all beat up but it comes with the box i already did like have an ellsbridge but mine it didn't have like all the pieces to it so i have all the pieces except for the chimney to this one and it's in really good condition because the one i have didn't have the screen thing and it was like really beat up so it's nice to have two ellsbridge stations that i can definitely use because i need more stations and i have all the almost all except for the chimney which really isn't that big of a deal and it's in really good condition so very nice to have that. My, I don't know how much this was because my parents just, you know, bought it for me for Christmas. I didn't see it at all. So, I mean, they did a good job picking it out because it comes with a box and it's in really good condition. So, all right, now let's go to, oh, dang, I forgot one item earlier that I did get in January. The Troublesome Blake Van. Whoops, that just fell. <laughs> but this was pr the most expensive item out of this. This was eighty six dollars. Uh, I know that's probably a lot, but I just really wanted one of these. And this is a nineteen ninety. Um, hold on, let me check the wheels for a second. Yeah, it has dates, so it's yeah nineteen ninety four. It's pretty rare, and I just kept finding them. Sometimes you'd find them in bids for like thirty dollars, but then they'd go up to like a hundred. And these are just really hard to come by any cheaper. And it was a buy it now for like $80. Oh wait, no, it was a bidding, but it ended at $80. And my, um, I asked my dad for it. He bidded and ended up winning. So very glad I had this. Like surprisingly, just this, like a, a literal block of wood with just a face printed on was the most expensive thing. You think it would be like maybe the Natford Station or the Old Iron Bridges or Henry Tunnel, but this was the most expensive thing because all these I got for like really good deals that I found. So I'm very thankful to have that. Flat magnets and everything. Yeah, it kind of has some edge wear and a chip there, but at the end of the day, you really can't find these for that good condition. Like this is pro good condition considering Troublesome Brake Van standards because usually these aren't in the best condition when you find them, so yeah, I'm glad I have that. Um, then this, I actually got this pretty recently. I got this earlier this um, in December. 
Henrietta, 1992, and got this for like $20, I think. I don't really, it was somewhere around there. No more than 25, I know that. It was a really good deal, 1992. Flat magnet, staples, in like perfect condition, like almost looks brand new. I'm really happy to have this because I've always wanted Henrietta and finally do have Henrietta. So as you, um, kind of going out of order now, uh, I'll just show you what else there hand cards this year got that in october because i was gonna do haunted henry remake didn't really get it finished on time and for halloween and um then i had like just like two more clips to film for it and it was with the hand car though like those ones at the end and i don't know i just like was busy getting like other stuff done in school was stressful so I never like finished it and by the time I could finish it it was like middle of November and I just decided you know what uh, I'll just do it like next October like next year for Halloween videos will be filmed I won't because I started filming videos like second week of October yeah I should have known because school was stressful and I didn't get to start filming till like the 15th or something um yeah, when that happened, I should have just was like, yeah, and let's not do Halloween remakes because I was cutting it close and I didn't get anything done on time, sadly. Um, but definitely next year, I will start filming in like late August. So, and then Christmas remakes, I'll probably start filming like beginning of November so and can get those done on time. I did do one Christmas video this year. I plan, I was planning to do more, but had midterms and film like a bunch of clips for like all these different remakes and for each remake I wanted to do there's like five of them I had like two or three clips that for each that I had to film but I didn't get those done so I never got a single one done but I had like enough I had like enough footage that if I just had time to film two clips for each remake that would have got it done and I just never you know it's no I just didn't really see a point on finishing them now because they weren't they kind of seem rushed to because I had like finals for the semester the week before Christmas like December 20th I had those that was very stressful but definitely next year and they will happen I promise you like all the remakes that I said that were going to come out Halloween Christmas time they will come out next year and some of the ones that I um, was going to do that don't really mention Christmas that aren't Christmas themed will be coming like January and February so because I already got a good head start on those <sighs> alright next um, here's Stepney got him in October for Stepney Gets Lost so I finally got to have an old South Stepney his face is like kind of falling off but whatever I got I literally got this for like five dollars I think it's 2001 Stepney. I don't, it won't focus, but yes, it is a 2001 Stepney wooden funnel. Almost perfect condition, except for like that. But got this for, I think, like $5. It was really cheap. And I wanted to do Stepney Gets Lost. Um, and I didn't want to use the new South Stepney because I don't like that Stepney. Then I got Peter Sam because I never got him as a child. Finally got to have him too. Uh, no name, so on the bottom. He's 2001 also. So, yeah. That is nice to have. Oh, this video is 19 minutes now. Well, I think we're just about wrapping up, almost. Alright, next up, I also got this in October, Bertram. Because I was going to do Toby's Discovery, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. Then it ended up just, like, not happening at all. But I'm probably going to do that remake, like, next summer. I will definitely do it before next October. I know that for sure. So be looking forward to that, like, mid-2019. Um, Alright, I don't know. Oh, I got this in April. It's... D please don't attack me for getting, like, the wood. But I had a Toys R Us gift card. Okay, Toys R Us was shutting down. And I just had, like, money on a Toys R Us gift card that, you know, I wanted to use. I had one left. And 
all they had there was wood stuff and I was like this was basically the only thing that I could see myself using because of like this car I wouldn't even probably use the Rosie at all I'd probably maybe use like this stuff so I was like okay got it use the gift card um never opened it so that's just great um I don't know if that, that was a waste but I might use it at like some point <laughs> just never open it it's been sitting there for like 10 months um, but yeah, you might see that in a remake. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Bircham I also never opened because I never even got to Toby's Discovery. Uh, what else do I not have open? Oh, Whiff. Because I was going to do Diesel's Ghostly Christmas during Christmas. Filmed some clips for that. and never got to do, like, the green screen. I was having a lot of problems with that because I wanted to green screen the moon in. And it appeared way too big than it should have. So I just, like, canceled that. So that's just great. I got that basically for nothing. Um, well, no, not for nothing actually, because I'm going to do that remake next Christmas when I actually start filming um, on time instead of waiting till like two days before Christmas to start filming because um, I'm a master procrastinator, as you guys know, when I say videos are going to be out this day and then there never are. Although I really hope the Flying Kipper is out this Friday because I want to be on a weekly uploading schedule and if it's not, I will be very disappointed because... Uh, I just want to start the new year out right. It's like almost done. It's been almost done. And then I was filming it. So I wanted it to come out in December. Then I got distracted with Christmas remakes. So I still have the Viaduct scene to do. I mean, that's really it. And the crash scene. Oh, dang. That's going to be hard to do. But I know what I'm going to do for it. it. I just don't know when. Probably tomorrow. So be looking forward to that. I really hope it's out Friday. Fingers crossed. Um, alright, next we have Hero, because I was going to do Last Chain for Christmas, although I got him for Christmas, I asked for him like earlier, but then never ended up getting him, and then I got him for Christmas, so that's good, so next year I'll do Last Chain for Christmas, um, you know, when I can actually do like 17 Christmas remakes, because I'll probably start filming, because like, if I start doing Halloween videos in late August, I'll probably be done by the beginning of October, so then in October, while Halloween videos are being uploaded, I can film Christmas videos and ha do like a however many I want. So I think that's basically it. And Hero was new in box, by the way, so. Oh wait, no, I forgot. Jack Frost Percy I did get because I wanted to do the Jack Frost Percy remake. Got that just a few weeks ago. And a winter caboose, because it came with the winter caboose. And Elizabeth so I could do that remake. That remake is probably going to be coming middle or end of January so yeah hope you looking forward to that. All right so that's all the 2018 eBay items. Well no not all of these were from eBay but most of them were. Oh I did forget Terrence. I got Terrence with Caterpillars because I got shredded after my Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure remake for Terrence not having Caterpillars because they fell off when I was little. Um, but I do have Terrence with Caterpillars now, so that's good. Um, anyways, be looking forward to hopefully weekly remakes coming soon. If not every week, then every two weeks. Because uh, I'm going to be very consistent this year. So, hope you all have a great 2019. See you Friday, probably, with the Flying Kipper remake. This is Brady McToo, signing up.